I'm going to show you how to get that flawless eyeshadow to pop the way you want it to. So go ahead, stay tuned. my under eye is very hydrated again because we have mature skin we have to do extra things to help ourselves okay so before i even start with my makeup i go ahead and i apply some um some some cream up under my eye and this is uh multivitamin po power firm so you want to get everything all firm up so i put this on and i let it dry down for about 10 minutes and before i even get started because you want to start off with a very smooth and hydrated canvas okay so even when you do your entire face you want to do this you want to hydrate your face 
before you get started. But when you hydrate, you want to wait. So you don't want to, you know, put things on your, on your face and then you go right into applying your makeup. You don't want to do that. You do, you need to wait for about 10 minutes before you do that. Okay. So I have already prepped my skin. So everything has been done. So the next step after I do that, I, I have a couple of what we call signature looks. So if I'm going somewhere, but I really don't know what I want to do. And I just really don't want to really put a lot of thought into it. This is the look that I typically go for. It's um, the same one that I did on the uh, first video that I did in regards to makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, before I get started, let me show you this palette here. I got this from, I think... Ulta. I got it from Ulta a couple of years ago. I absolutely love this palette. I love all the colors. If you see how vibrant those colors are, it is so, so pigment and it's buildable. So you, if you, you know, want something a little bit more deeper with color, you want some more vibrant colors, you can build that up. Now, you know, I am a matte girl, right? So I love this palette as well, especially in the fall and winter. Um, and these are the colors here. Absolutely love this palette. Now, this last palette, I showed you this on the first makeup video as well. Now, this palette is matte. This is a palette that I put together myself. Okay, so all the colors in here, I selected them for my uh, for my palette okay so again I've already hydrated and everything but before I do anything else what I want to do I want to go in and I want to use my concealer now I'm not gonna mm, I don't know if I'm gonna conceal all the way around my eyes yes I am I am so I'm just going to work with my eyes that's it. I'm not going to do any contour or anything like that today. We're just going to focus on doing a really nice eyeshadow and just really breaking those steps down um, to simplify, to give you why you're doing what you're doing. Okay. So again, like I said, I have Anastasia. This is number 14 here. That's my color. So you want something bright. This is maybe like two two three shades lighter than my foundation so i want to start right here okay and you want to start here you want to just bring it up okay because you want and i'm trying not to get my brow because like i said i cannot and i'm just going to start with this eye first okay Now, usually I will use my um, Born This Way as well and Buttercup, but before I sat down, I didn't grab it. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I typically do. So again, I take my ring finger and I just go up. Okay. And I'm trying my best not to touch. my brows okay. and this concealer is going to really replace using um, a primer so I really like doing this a little bit more You want something like this and it's going to prevent your eyeshadow from doing those crease. Um, again, when you have mature skin, there's some things that 
we have to do that we didn't have to do before when we're younger but because of the skin around the eye and it's very delicate we need to make sure one hydrate yes hydrate but also you need to make sure you have the right product so it won't get in those lines and creases that you know sometimes we have I'll uh, try my best not to touch that. Okay. So again, today I'm just focused on the eyeshadow. Okay. So once I do that, the next step you want to do, you want to go in with a um, transitional color because you want everything to blend. And like I all, I've been telling you guys, blending is key. If you cannot figure out anything else, you need to take time, practice blending everything out, okay? Um, and when you perfect that, I mean, you, you got really most of it, okay? You just need to learn how to blend everything together that is just really seamless, that the colors just kind of just melt together. Okay, that's what we want to do. So let me show you some of my brushes. As you know, don't judge me. I have a lot of brushes. I don't use all of them all the time, honey. But these are typically uh, the brushes that I will use. Most of them are actually by Sigma. I like Sigma brushes. Um, let me show you. So these this one and this is and i'm going to actually put the brush number in the description below so if you want to actually um, find out the name and the numbers i'm not going to go through all of them but these are the ones that i typically use um and let's see in these two these so these are the ones I gravitate towards when I'm doing my eyeshadow. Now, sometimes I will pick up another brush here or there, especially if I want to get right here and add highlight. I will use this brush right here. Um, and I don't know what this brush is. I think I just picked this up one day. Um, it's actually, it's Urban Decay. So I think I got this from Marshalls, one of those places like that. Um, but these are the brushes that I typically use when I'm doing my eyeshadow. And again, you you do want to invest. I'm not saying going out and get high-end um, makeup brushes. A, a, a good line of makeup brushes that you could get from Walmart, CVS, whatever, is um, Real Technique. They have some really nice brushes as well. Um, and I used to use them in the past. I like them, um, but I decided to invest in some other brushes. So I have a whole set of <laughs> makeup brushes that I have on hand. So what I want to do, I'm going to start with this brush here. Now this is the, I think, E35. So if you see how it looks really fluffy like that. So what I will go in and my transition colors are typically like the light browns, things like that. So this color here, typically I will go in with this color. I hope you can see. So I will go in with this color and then I will combine it with this color. So these are the two colors I will start with. And we're just going to, again, I love the fact that I can build it up. And the first place you place your brush, after you have product on, you don't want to dust it off. You want to go in with this product, okay? So where I want to start is right here, okay? And you want to just tap. You want to be gentle. You don't have to rub hard or anything. Okay. I 
And this is going to give you a really nice gradient effect. Give you a really nice transition before you get into that color. And it's very important for us to do this because, um, because of that, our skin around our eyes, sometimes it will start to fold. You know, if you have, you know, those love marks, you know, like wrinkles. Uh, yeah. And if you don't know what you're doing, the makeup will sit in those, um, those wrinkles or those fine lines and it would just really make it look even worse. So that's why you need to make sure that you just take your time. And if you can see here, I'm just being really, I'm being intentional, but I'm just really just, I'm not even swooping right now. I'm just like placing the uh, product, okay? And again, you just want to really just practice. You want to practice. So now I'm going to get my brush and I like to use this to kind of blend everything out because you don't want harsh lines when you're doing makeup with your eyeshadow, with your foundation, your contour, or hot, whatever it is, you don't want a harsh line. So to get rid of that harsh line, if you see how I'm holding my brush, you want to take it and you just want to swerve it around like that to get rid of that demarcation, okay? So after I do that, I will go back in with a darker color. Go in with this brush here. Now this is a little bit smaller. This is E27. Um, so I'm going to go in with this color right here. Okay. So it's a little bit darker. And remember the first place your brush touch, you want to have the most product, okay? So I'm going to start right here. And I'm being right in that, in that crease. And if you have a hooded eye, and I'm going to show you examples, pictures of uh, a hooded eye, what I mean. If you have a hooded eye, just like, see, I have some, right as I get older, my my eyes kind of fold over more than it used to. It didn't do that, but as I'm getting older, it's, I'm seeing that it's doing that more and more now. So you just need to make sure that you start down a little bit lower. Okay? You don't want to start up here because if you do, you're going to blow out that color, meaning that it's going to look like you have black eye. You just, you know, it's just everywhere. So you got to know how to control it. Again, in my younger years, I didn't have this issue, but hey, you got to know how to work it. Huh? It'll work if you work it. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to take my brush. This is the one that I use when I blend everything together. So I'm blending these two colors. Again, you do not want a harsh line. Right? You just want everything to blend, okay? You see that? You want everything to just blend really nicely. Now, um... If I was able to do my brows, well, I have my brows done, but even with this, I will go in and I'm going to um, use my highlight right up under my brow just to make it pop a little bit more and brighten it up. But of course, I can't mess with that. So I'm just telling you, typically, I pick up the wrong brush. And sometimes you have to go back in with the color because 
if you notice some of that transition, I've kind of went through that too much. So you can't see the transition as, as well. Now I'm going to make sure, and I'm trying to look in this mirror here, but let me check this out. Okay. And sometimes I have to stop and look at different uh, mirrors because I want to be able to see. And it's very important imperative that you can see what you're doing because if you cannot see you're gonna have a mess okay so you want to be able to ha have enough light you don't have to have as many lights that i have in my studio however even when i'm just doing my makeup i'm not recording i'm just doing my makeup i have some really good lighting because you want to see how so, it look um again i got this from mac and I like using this, you could use this as a eyeshadow, but what I use this for is to put, um, if I want to use like a shimmer type um, eyeshadow, this is going to allow that eyeshadow to really pop. Now I used to use a uh, paint pot, that's um, by MAC as well, but a few years ago, I was in the Mac store and the young lady told me that this would be the best way to go with what I was trying to do. So I've been using it every, ever since. Okay. So I'm going to take this brush. If you see how flat it, it is, this is a Sigma brush as well. This is E60, E60. So what I want to do, I'm going to put my brush in there. To see the product right there and I'm gonna take it I'm looking in the mirror guys so if you can see Now, if you don't have anything like this, um, I will suggest that you try to get something like this. Um, you could get, P. Louise has something for your eyelid as well. It's like a blank canvas. I think that's the name of that. Um, but this just seemed to work the best for me. Um, but I know a lot of makeup artists use P. Louise. I've never tried it, guys, so I can't I can't speak to it. But this, I could definitely speak to. Okay, so if you see how I'm just pressing it on, and again, I'm gonna get in there and blend everything out. Keyword is blend. You want to get into blending. So once I do that, I go back in with my fluffy brush again, and I'm gonna just really go around very lightly, and I'm getting rid of that demarcation between the two shadows. I want it to marry. So I want it to really get in there and blend. So my next step, now I will keep this brush here and this shadow, if you see right here, I really don't have that much, but I'm going to write the name down. I have a new one, but of course I'm trying to use all of this one. But I just love this color and it's another one that I like to use as well. So I put the product on. And I'm just going to press it on. Okay. 
Again, guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love makeup. I actually called my aunt, aunt last week and I told her about the video. And she just laughed. She thought it was so funny that I remember that. Um, but one thing that she helped me to remember, I was telling her, you know, I love wearing red um, lipstick. And she reminded me that's the color of lipstick that she used to wear all the time. So I guess that's where I get it from. I guess. I thought that was really funny. Now I need to blend it again. If you see right here, I need to blend it out. Let's blend it. So I want to make sure that I have some depth on my shadow. You want to have like a three dimension type of shadow. So, um, I don't want you to ever just put eyeshadow on. You go in and have on green, so I'm just going to put eye, green eyeshadow on. No, you want to build it up. You always want to have a transition color, um, and then put, if you want green, blue, whatever, and then you apply that. But you want everything to blend together that it will look seamless, okay? That's what you want. So now I'm going to do, 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 use this brush here. Go into it with this the darkest brown, if you could see. Okay. So I'm going to start and I'm going to apply it right here. And I like to put the dark color right here in that crease for my that fold right there. I like to put the darkest color right there. I take my blending brush and blend everything together. Now I'm going in to make my lids pop a little bit more because it's kind of washed out now. And so I'm going to use this. Now this is a paint pot, but if you see that metallic color, I just thought it was so, so, so beautiful when I saw it. So I put product on there and see how it's looking. It's coming together. It's coming together. Okay. Um, take this eyeshadow. It's by MAC as well. Um, this is Dazzle Shadow. I think it's Slow Fast Slow. That's the name of it. And I think I'm 
gonna use a little black. This palette, so I'm gonna use this black just a little bit because black cup very oh it could take over your eyeshadow if you put too much on you need to just make sure that you kind of I'm not trying to smoke it out I'm just trying to really give it some dimension that's it And, and I've done eyeshadow before, and in my mind, I know what I want it to look like, and then it doesn't turn out that way. That will happen, uh, but you got to learn how to pivot, you know. So it's been times that, again, I started out, and I'm going to do this, and it just did not come together. I had to, you know, figure out what else can I do to still, you know, look good. Because nobody's going to know that it didn't turn out the way that I want it but me. Bring it up just a little bit more on my red. And you want to bring that color right down to your, um, your eyelash base of your eyelash okay you don't want to be a separation now i am going to go in with some um with a eyeliner as well and then i'm gonna use mascara all those things to give me the look that i'm going for now the next thing i want to do I think I'm going to put a little um, highlight in the corner. This little brush right here. So I'm going to go in with this color. Go right here in my corner. Mm, I think I'm going to do this one. That one's just not popping like I want it to. Going back into this transition, I'm losing some of that color because I want it to blend. Okay, you want it to blend. Just like this. And now I'm going to go in with my, now this is actually, da, 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 I think this is L'Oreal here. Yes, this is L'Oreal in black. So if you see how that look, yes, I've been digging it. This is the brush. I have two. This is a Sigma brush. If you see how small and thin it is. So I like using that, but the one that I use most of all is this one. I got this, it came with a, another um, eye, no, eyeliner, and I have two or three of these, but I love this brush. I love the angle of it. So even though I don't have the product, I love the brush so much. Come up a little bit more, guys. Now I'm gonna have to look right in my mirror. The first thing I do want to point out to you, you need to make sure the eyeshadow go on your waterline. And the waterline is this. Let me put that down so I won't stick The waterline is, you see that? Where that um, pink color right there? That's your waterline, okay? This around here, if you want to smoke it out, that's when you put product right here but you need to make sure that you're putting in that waterline. And then once you do that, you wanna go up here and you want to, wherever your eyeshadow, so you want it to go right there, okay? So 
that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to go to the waterline. I'd rather use a um, color like this or a um, liquid eyeliner. The pencil, I used to wear pencil all the time, but with me, I found that it was harder for me to just keep it on my waterline. It always ended up being below my waterline. I didn't do that because you see if my fingers are going into my skin. Okay, so let's do that. So now I'm going to go above. I have to open up really, really wide. Because even though I'm going to put lashes on, I still want to go underneath. So I'm going all the way up here. So once I do that, now I'm going to go on top of the upper lid. So I like to start right here. So where my um, eyelashes start, I know they're really thin, guys. I know you probably can't even see them. Like, where are they? But right here, I like to start right there. One thing that I have not perfected yet, but I'm saying yet because I'm going to get it, um, is my wing line. I want to perfect this wing liner. So I'm not going to do it, guys, because I'm, I'm working on it. And when I perfect it, I'm going to show you. I'm currently taking a makeup class like i said i always like to invest in myself and i know some of the royal nation you don't have the time the means to take makeup classes but you want to you know someone that you could kind of that will slow down and show you in detail what you need to do okay so we're gonna go again i'm not gonna do a wing And if you, if, when I put my eyelashes on and if I don't do this, it looks weird. It doesn't, I don't know. It, it's it, people, because you want to get a people a, illusion that the eyelashes really your lashes. But if you don't put that eyeliner up there, you could really tell that it's, it's not yours. Okay. You just you give it away. And we don't want to give none of our secrets away. Uh-uh. No. Uh Keep them guessing, huh? Keep them guessing. And um, you can go in there if you need to go back in and tweak some things. Go back in there and tweak some things. Because I do that all the time. If I, you know, I'm getting ready to... I have actually done my eyeshadow, go and put my clothes on and realize that it's kind of off. And I have to go back and try to tweak some things. So that's why I always try to give myself some extra time because you never knew. So now I'm going to use my MAC uh, mascara. So I'm going to use that. Even though, again, I'm going to 
put some lashes on. I still like to um, put my mascara on, okay? So, you want to put it at the, the bottom of the lashes and kind of wiggle it up. If you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes I put mascara on my bottom lid, but not all the time. And I've, if I do my bottom lid, I have a really small, uh, uh, I think it's by L'Oreal as well. I wish I had it up here, but I knew I wasn't going to do my bottom lashes today. But I will use that. And it's really, the, the um, one is really small. And I can really get in there and get my lower lash. Because I don't have lashes. Just a little bit. So. But I'm going to use these. Um, um, Amazon. Actually, I got these from Marshalls. But you can. I've seen them on Amazon. So what I'm going to do, and this is my, my lash glue that I use duo. Um, with this one, this is a quick set. Um, it's another one. It's instead of glue, it's green, but it has a brush. This one is not a brush. It is, let me show it to you. You see how it says no brush on there, which is really hard. But it didn't work. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, that came. Oh, that's okay. That's that's good. That's good. Like that. And you don't want to bring it all the way down here because if it touch your tear tear dope you will know it will it it would irritate you you're gonna have to pull it off and start again i promise you because i've done it like i refuse to take this thing off um, before i get where i'm going them things are off because they they just irritate me Right there, I see a little separation. So I'm trying to press it in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a little bit more mascara because I'm trying to make my lashes kind of blend into the in the falsies. That's what I'm trying to do. Just like that. Okay, guys. So again, you just want to take your time. Um, you know, some people like the really thick lashes. I typically don't. I have some probably a little bit thicker than this, but not too much thicker than this. Okay. So I just want to pop on and show you how I do it. And I'm going to go off camera, finish it up, and then I will come back and let you see how everything turned out. Be right back. <music>